Hi everybody, Cynthia here from the Scrappy Bookworm. I um I bagged up my tag to get ready to send out and I realized I forgot I had a few questions on my bag toppers, how I make those. So I thought I'd do a quick tutorial, show you guys, give you an idea of how to use up your scraps. I know we are always looking for ways to use them up and this is kind of a cute way to, to do it. I think um, when you receive something in the mail and somebody took t the time to, like I decorate um, my paper bags um, when I send those out or, you know, I like to put little cute toppers on my plastic bags. Sometimes, you know, I don't have any scraps so I just fold them over and, and put it like a, a sticker or a piece of tape and, you know, as long as it's wrapped up really nice. but. If you do have scraps left over, it's so cute to like the paper here matches the tag. So, you know, when you receive that in the mail, it's it's like, oh, that's so cute. You know that the person um, just took that little extra time to do that. So I wanted to give you guys the idea to to do it. A lot of people do it. A lot of people use um, regular cardstock and they run it through their cuddle bugs and emboss it and fold them that way. Um, which I also do, but I also like to use up my scraps. If I have any left over, I like to use them up right away because nine times out of ten, I'm not going to go back and use them. I mean, that's just, it happens. I say I'm going to, but, you know, they just sit there. And so if I can use them up right away, I will. So anyway, I'm just going to do a really quick tutorial on how I do these and um, show you. Uh, this This measurement here is for the bags that measure five and three quarters by seven and three quarter inches. Um, let me get a bag out. I'm sorry about the noise if it's loud. I should have probably gotten one out before I started the camera. Okay, let me just get a bag. Okay, so basically when you're measuring, you want it to be at least, I like mine to be two and a half inches to three inches um, in, in width. The length all depends on the size of your bag, okay? So what I do is, I'm going to make a little bit of a mess here, guys. I'm sorry. But I, I either run them through my cuddle bug and emboss them. Like I said, you can use fancy edgers. Um, you can even just put them plain and score them in the middle, however, however you like to decorate them. But I'm going to run this through my Martha Stewart. It's kind of like a scallop. Punch. It really gives it a pretty edge, and I really love this one. Oops, I think I might have gotten that a little crooked, but it'll give you guys the idea of what I'm, what I mean. My fingers don't always hold these properly, and then I get them a little uneven. Okay, there we go. All right, let me get rid of all this mess here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is line it up, and since I trimmed it, it measures about two and a quarter inches. I'm going to score it at the inch mark, and the reason why is because I want this front flap to be a little bit longer than the back flap, and that way when you flip it over your bag to staple it, you're not going to see the back flap showing through the, the scalloped edge. Okay, So that's all I do. I score it there, I line it up with my bag, put it over, and then I grab my stapler and I'll staple one edge here and I'll staple this edge here. And that's it. And then I'm done and you create a a cute little topper, you know, out of your scraps for your bags when you send racks in the mail and, and things like that. So I hope that helped, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. And um, take care. Have a great day.